initial stages, I, I would say it's a February, March, a lot of experts had come from various American universities and other places and they gave huge big interviews to the media here and everybody said that India is going to be doomed. There is a country of 1.37 billion people and how will you control it in the villages? How is it going to be controlled in the slums of India? And they had predicted over 300 million cases and 5 to 6 million deaths for India. And today, if I tell you that today I can very proudly say that we have the highest and the best recovery rate in the whole world, that's 97%. Our case fatality rate is just about 1.44%. And the total cases uh, against a prediction of over 300 million cases, 400 million cases, our total cases in India till now in the last one year is 10.7 million and out of these 10.7 million, 10.4 million have recovered, they have gone back home fully uh, healthy and having fought the disease uh, uh, successfully and right now today I have just uh, uh, 0.17 million active cases in the uh, country. When we started our fight in February, March, we had just one lab which could uh, test the virus in this country. And today when I am talking to you, we have already created 2,362 laboratory facilities where the virus is tested. We were amongst the first few countries in the whole world where we isolated the virus and we started stepping up our health infrastructure in the country and uh, within few months we in fact uh, had developed uh, over 15,000 dedicated health facilities for COVID where there were more than 19 lakh beds and on top of it uh, simultaneously we created over uh, 12,000 quarantine centers when we initiated our campaign, we were short of PPE kits, we were short of N95 masks, we were short of ventilators. and But within no time, everybody rose to the occasion. And uh, we converted that whole situation that uh, into a blessing in disguise, a, a, a difficulty into the, the, the challenge, into an opportunity <clears throat> and uh, within no time we, uh, we came to a situation where we were producing 5 lakh PP kits in the country every day and uh, uh, during the course of the pandemic we had sent over uh, 400 lakh uh, N95 masks and over uh, 170 lakh uh, PPE kits and over 36,000 ventilators which we started uh, manufacturing in the uh, country itself and during the early stages itself where there was shortage of medicines all over the world we were transporting we were in fact exporting uh, uh, hydroxychloroquine to 150 countries all across the world during the course of this uh, pandemic i also had the uh, privilege to be nominated as the chairman of the executive board of who just uh, last week we finished our uh, who executive board meeting which uh, ran for almost eight days uh, six hours every day and we discussed many of the issues related to health so there's no time to discuss that and even for the covid also we have been every Thursday we have been coordinating through the WHO with all the health ministers of the whole world and uh, sharing information and uh, uh, sharing platforms to ensure that we give the best to the people of this world.